So what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This is Ryan from Freedom Foods Farm and today we did it. Well, technically yesterday. We did it. We created our first hybrid cow. Something that I've been thinking about for a little while now and to see the results of our little experiment, pretty cool. And the results might even end up in a brand new cattle breed because I've never seen anything like this before. I haven't, I've done tons of research. Can't find anything like this. Let me show you what we've done. We've taken our beef longhorn bull here, Jordan. He's very good looking and produces very nice little calves. And we've crossed him with, with sheep here who is half Charlet and half Brangus. So that'd come out to be a quarter Brahma and a quarter Angus. So that plus this somehow equals this right here. Everybody, this here is uh, Sheep and Jordan's little bull calf. This is Frank. Why? Because it's short for Frankenstein. Because he's a little hybrid and somehow he, come out, he came out red slash brown and uh, he's half Longhorn, he is a quarter Charlet, an eighth Brahma, and an eighth Angus. And guess what? He looks like a Longhorn, but he has no horns. So he's gonna be pretty cool to see grow out. So what we have here is the genetics and the hardiness of the Longhorn combined with the weight packing on ability of the Angus and the, um, the Charlet, you add in the Brahma, which is very, very heat tolerant, similar to the Longhorn, you combine those four and you get Frank. So a couple of the questions that we have to answer is, is he gonna grow out faster than the Longhorns? What's the meat gonna be like? Is it gonna be the same, um, you know, leanness of the Longhorn? Are, are the Longhorn traits of the hardiness gonna transfer over? And so far it's looking like it has because, because we're averaging, it's like 37.15 pounds per calf that, uh, that we've had here, okay? Frank came in 38 on the nose. So that, very, very, very good. And what I have found is that the Longhorn Charlet cross, very common. The, Char the, the Longhorn Angus cross, pretty common. Longhorn Brahma, very uncommon but when you take the four and put them together but what we're looking to create here is the healthiest easiest keeping grass eating cows cattle whatever you want to call them there is available for this area i think i just have a sneaking suspicion that we might be onto something really cool here and the great thing about this is is that sheep came with her sister dolly who was pregnant and that was what produced us our little bull calf last year in skywalker He's the exact same thing as his aunt and his mama. Now, if Frank grows out doing really well, what we're gonna do, I think we're gonna do this anyways just to see, we're gonna put Skywalker on our Longhorn cows and get a bunch of those crosses very quickly. But with anything, it takes time to see. And if Frank can grow up on the grass that we have here, because it's amazing and growing up good. Sure, there's some blackberries that need to get mowed down. We're gonna see and keep a very close eye on how he grows out compared to the other calves that we have. And what we're lucky about, very lucky about, is that we've had a bunch of calves recently. So we'll see if he can pass them up, he keeps up just right along with them, if it's worth it to continue and to do this experiment more and more and more. Now I obviously think this is a good idea because if I didn't, I wouldn't be doing it. What do you think? What do you think this is going to come out to be? Because I wasn't expecting him to come out reddish brown. That's uh, That was very unexpected. I thought he was going to come out white like most of the other calves. And you see sheep and, and you, see his, you see his mommy and his daddy all white. He's going to be a longhorn looking bull with no horns. Be pretty interesting. 